So the first thing that we want to say to you is that this reality that you think you are observing, you're not just observing, you're creating it. This reality that you think is about what somebody else is doing as it relates to you is not ever about what somebody else is doing. It's only about what you are doing. And so what it really comes down to and the reason that you have summoned us through your desire is because it is just not fun to be physically focused and to be creating your reality by default. It's not fun. It's not fun to observe and then just cope with the results of your observation. That's not fun. What's fun is to evaluate and come to new conclusions and find ways to hold yourself more in steady vibrational harmony with what you want and therefore gravitating more from what you don't want and more to what you do want and then you getting to witness the manifestation of your wishes because you can be the deliberate creator of your own experience and the good news is the really 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 good news is nobody else has to understand it they can't mess up your reality and that takes some doing for you to believe because we love you so much you have your nose in so many places that it does not belong <laughs> you're observing what everybody's doing all of their realities you're observing it and in the process you're making your vibrational reality mimic what you're seeing and then you get it and then you say but it's true <laughs> Esther argued that point with us in the early days of our communicating with her and through her but Abraham it's true I know you say that it would be better for me to only focus upon things that feel good to me when I focus upon them but this is a true thing and isn't there some value in giving my attention to things that are true and we said yes if you want more of those things if you want more of those and if you want them up closer and closer and closer to you if you want to be right smack dab in the middle of that kind of truth then have at it give it your undivided attention in fact join groups start groups let's talk about this because if you talk about it if you get it going in your vibration then you become this magnetic point of attraction where more of that evidence comes to you not as evidence of truth among all things but as evidence of your vibrational habits or of your beliefs so it is our knowing that you have come to this gathering intending to be more of a deliberate creator wanting to get a handle and most of all it is our knowing that you are attending here with us co-creating here with us because you want to be the joyous deliberate creator that you came into your physical experience to be it's no fun to observe and cope it's so much more fun to live something which causes an awareness within you which causes a clarity of desire to form within you and then to use the power of your deliberateness and intentionality to focus more upon what you desire until you're really good at holding that vibration and then to witness the turning of those vibrations into things that are up close and personal to you that's what you came for and that's what we came to remind you about and to maybe help you with a little bit so there's nothing serious going on here and we don't just mean here in this room we mean here we mean here we are all eternal beings your eternity is certain it is assured and it is inevitable and your expansion is inevitable you knew that when you decided to take your position in this personality in this leading edge time and space in order to observe and come to important and new personal decisions about what would be better this is what the evolution of all species is about and so as an eternal being you said contrast will help me choose and once contrast has sufficiently helped me to decide what would be better I will give my as best as I can undivided attention to the new decision and all that is will fill in around it which leads us to really what we want to be the takeaway for you of this gathering 
thoughts turning to things vibrations turning to thoughts thoughts turning to things things being your life experience we want to help you to focus upon this manifestation which is now 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 this could take a while now 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 your perception in the now is your reality and so not an easy concept for so many humans who have been translating vibration into reality for so long you don't know you're doing it you don't realize that your eyes are translating vibration into what you see you just see and sort of take it for granted you don't realize that your nose is translating vibration into what you are smelling your fingertips into what you are feeling in other words you are identifying your now because you are very good at deciphering vibration and your emotions are deciphering vibration as well so if you can make that leap with us just try a little bit to accept that you are the perceiver of your reality which is why you are the creator of your reality and you don't perceive this collective reality exactly like anyone else your perception of this reality is uniquely your own that's why two of you could walk down the same street in the same city at the same time and have two entirely different experiences because it's not what you're exposed to it's your belief about what you're being exposed to it's your interpretation of what you're being exposed to thoughts are turning to things thoughts are turning to things so these are the words that we want you to focus upon and as we're moving forward you'll feel them and sense them and see them light up as we're emphasizing through this day you create your own reality and the manifestation is now and the reason that what you are seeing is what you are seeing is because of your vibrational stance and it isn't only what you are seeing it is actually the reality that is congealing around your vibration we're not saying to you oh it's just this one experience that you are all seeing in different ways we are saying it is as many different experiences as you are and the reason it is as many different experiences as you are is because you have formed it into the experience that you are having we want to lay one more really important concept on you and that is you got to stop blaming everybody else for what your reality is because nobody else is responsible for what your reality is because nobody else can vibrate for you no one else can perceive for you no one else can change vibration no one else can focus for you oh they can emphasize and dramatize they can live so dramatically something that as you observe it it makes you offer a vibration like it that's what influence is but no one can vibrate for you you and you alone create your own reality and so it would be a really wonderful thing if you could say to everyone that you know and love and those you don't love especially those you don't love <laughs> it would be so nice if you could say to everyone you're all off the hook I'm now holding none of you responsible for what's happening to me I'm taking life on fully and I'm understanding that I'm molding it through my perception and I'm now utilizing something other than you as my guidepost to perceive rather than knee-jerk reacting to you and 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 you I'm utilizing a guidance system I was born with because I just found out I just remembered I just realized that when I came into my body that the larger part of me remained non-physical and supports energetically this body that I am in this God force this soul this source energy always aware of me aware of me and where I stand in relationship with everything that I've carved out of life that I want more of because when life causes you to sift and sort and you know what you don't want you know what you do want and when you radiate that improvement that new decision that desire that hope or dream when it emanates from you and it does whether you say the words or not when you do that 
your inner being that non-physical part of you focuses upon it knows it is it and then eternally reflects it outward to you so you have this always active vibrational radiating oozing penetrating signal or offering that is saying that is being this is who you now are this is who you now are when you didn't have enough money and you ask for more that signal says this is who you now are this is who you now are this is who you now are vibrationally which is the first necessary steps before the manifestation can ensue but for most humans there's a big gap between what you've asked for and who you now are vibrationally and who you're letting yourself be because your old beliefs about what is are blocking your new intention about what can be did you hear that you have become so much more than you are letting yourself be because you are so busy looking at what bees Ooh, look at this that bees Ooh, let's sort it into piles let's call it good and bad let's call it Republican and Democrat let's call it Christian and Buddhist let's sort it into rightness and wrongness and let's all go over here in the right pile and it's really funny to watch you because you're all over there in what you think is the right pile all in a different pile from so much else and all demanding no this is the right pile this is the right pile this is the right pile when all of your inner beings are over here in your vortex saying really this is where you really mean to be that's just your justification for wanting something different and every time you're defending or justifying or rationalizing you're holding yourself apart from your own expansion and that's why you're so mad at each other you are so angry with each other not because you think your pile is righter than their pile you are angry with them because in your argument you deprive yourself of the wholeness of who you are and that feels lousy it just feels awful to hold yourself apart from who you really are and so you say it's your fault you're the one messing up the world and we say you are the one depriving yourself of the new world that you've created the new vibrational reality that you've created the new piles of money and improved relationships and improvement in the way you feel and improvement in everything you have created realities that you are depriving yourself of by observing what is and condemning so much of what is because it isn't the way you want it to be so what we really want to say to you in a way that you will never ever ever forget it is you've been looking for love in all the wrong places and money in all the wrong places you've been looking for the things you want in all the wrong places because you're trying to wring it out of the necks and people of those around you I'll get it from you I'll get it from you I'll get it from you I'll get it through your votes I'll get it through my influence I'll get it from you 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 and we say no you won't nobody ever got it from them you know what reality is this manifested reality it's like the gum that you've chewed all the flavor out of it was once juicy and it was once really flowing but now it is a reality that isn't where it's at you know where it's at in your vortex you know where life is where the good life that you are really wanting to live is it's in the evolution of you letting this vortex this vibrational reality that you've been creating by letting it turn to things say it better by observing it turning to things say it better by you being a witness to the vibrational shifting of thoughts to things that's where all the juice is that's where all the fun is that's where all the joy is that's what you intended to do you said I'll go into this body into this beautiful place of great diversity and from the diversity I will come to my own conclusions about what would be better for me I will radiate a signal I will broadcast it to the whole of who I am my inner being will understand that signal will hold it in perfect vibrational harmony the law of attraction will gather all of the cooperative components and this new reality will be formed just like the babe in the womb <laughs>